Hi guys, this is going to be another look of the day. It's Saturday. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside and we are about to go out for lunch. I think we're going to have Italian for lunch, which I'm really excited about. I am feeling awesome. I don't have a headache or anything. So I'm hashtag blessed at the moment. Um, I want to show you my outfit and my makeup. We are just uh, going to go out to kind of walk around. Um, we were supposed to go out and look at more baby stuff today but then we realized that most of the stuff we can we can actually get it online so we're gonna get the stuff online and probably do a little bit of window more window shopping today and in the evening I'm going to my mom's house I haven't visited my mom and my family for a while now because I was sick and all that so I'm really really excited so yeah let's get started on the look okay so first of all uh, when it comes to foundation I actually mixed two of my uh, two foundations today. Uh, the first one is the Chanel Vita Lumiere foundation. This is like a very chi chi lightweight foundation. I forgot how gorgeous this smells. It smells really really nice. Um, the only thing is that it's too light for me so I had to mix it with my ultimate favorite foundation which is the Jojo Armani foundation, luminous foundation in number 8. So together it kind of created this nice dewy look. Uh, this is a very nice foundation if you are looking for like a very lightweight you know, uh, fuss-free kind of foundation. It goes on really, really nicely. The only thing is that it might be too lightweight if you have uh, a lot of stuff that you want to cover up and the, the range or the the, the color selection that they have is not great. Uh, this is number four in beige. I think they have a darker one in Singapore, um, but it is definitely too light for me. So I mixed that together. And then for um, contour, uh, I did a little bit of contour today. I used my favorite contour product, which is essentially a stick foundation from Inglot. This is number 115 and it basically looks like that. If you are uh, of this shade, you can basically use this for foundation. Uh, but I basically used it um, on the apples of my cheeks right down here and I basically drew a line and did a little bit of buffing there and I really like it. So just a little bit of um, contouring going on today, a little bit fancy. Um, um, for my under eyes concealer, I have been very lazy in terms of using concealer during the usual working days. Uh, but over the weekends, uh, I try to make a little bit more effort. So I used my MAC concealer palette right here. It's the Pro Conceal correct palette. It's in the shade medium. Um, I usually just randomly pick a particular color. I don't really know which one to go for. Today I actually went for this very nice salmon-y color right here and it's really nice to cover up, um, to kind of color correct your eyes actually. So this particular color is really really um, nice. So I have it on my under eyes. Trust me, without it my under eye circles would be like it would be pretty dark. <laughs> For blush, I didn't want to do too much. I just had one or two brushes of this. This is in number one. It's by the brand Eye Color. I think I got this in Sasa. So it's just nice, peachy, cute little pink blush. And on to the eyes, I watched uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Emily Noel. I think her username is Emily Noel 83 I really like uh, watching her. So she did this whole series about bringing out palettes from the holidays and then using colors that you don't normally use. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I decided to whip out my matte metal palette by Kat Von D. And I purposely used colors that I wouldn't normally use. So for this palette, I usually gear towards like these type of colors or the darker colors. So today I actually used um, a whole range of the more pastel-y colors. So on my um, crease area there, I actually used this uh, shade called Silk, which is a nice movie purple color and then, and then i use this color ribbon to just kind of darken up the crease color um i did try to use these two colors because she used it on her skin and it looked really really nice like a nice ombre orangey yellow effect but to be honest with you i tried using both of this they just came out very chalky and they didn't really come out on my eyes at all i think it's my skin tone so that was a bummer so because if these two looked great on me they would be perfect 
and after that I just use a little bit of velvet here to just kind of uh, darken out the outer crease of my eye and then of course because it's Saturday I had to go for a little bit of bling and the bling that I'm using today I could have used one of the like metal shades that they have but I figured I need to start using more of my Inglot AMC pigments which I love so much I have so many of these and I haven't had time to use them and the one I'm using today is this gorgeous purpley one which is in number 120 so it's definitely it's on my eyelid at the moment um, it's my favorite type of bling slash glitter slash pigment that you could use for your eyes it's really really easy to use it comes in a pot of sunshine like that and I freaking love this I just love swatching them I love looking at them and they look awesome on the eyes and they're really really easy to use you have to be a little bit more careful of course but they're just easier to use than like loose glitter and all that okay so I think that's pretty much about it for the lips I used um, my one of my go-to lip liners in beat this is by Mac this is actually a much darker color than the actual lipstick that I used but I it doesn't really matter so that's that on my lip liner and then I've got my Kat Von D uh, outlaw lipstick on my lips because I just felt like wearing bright red lipstick today so that's what I have um for perfume I'm into very sweet scents at the moment um I either use my marry me perfume by Lanvin or I use this one which is the Versace Absolute this is the bright crystal version which is like um it comes in a darker bottle and it's supposed to be longer wearing um because the other one is an Audi Tolly I think this is an Audi perfume so you can see how much I've used it I just I I don't know I've been gearing towards like sweeter but pleasantly scent and I feel like I should try and get a new perfume I feel like the rest of my perfumes I'm kind of like eh well, let's talk about the outfit so for the outfit I have on maternity clothes today you guys I just did a huge haul of maternity wear I'm really excited to be trying these clothes out this little top here is from Sing Sale is from a brand called Motherland I think and it's basically like a long um, long-ish kind of top that stops kind of below your uh, your pelvic region and it's really great because it helps to hide anything that you want to hide it's super super comfortable it's a little bit longer at the back as well and it's really really comfortable because it's made up of this like almost slinky spandexy material and it just looks really really cute and very flattering at the same time so for the jeans I'm actually wearing maternity jeans these are by Dorothy Perkins and they basically look like this They are slim fit skinny jeans and what's amazing is that it comes with like an inner band that's uh, that's kind of like tight to the jeans as well so the jeans feel very low rise at the moment but it's very secured by this band that it has here so it's really cool I really like the look of it and it's uh, it's nice that I finally have an option to wear jeans at the moment so you can see a little bit of my bum here and it's just a very comfortable outfit okay other than that the bag that I'm carrying is the same bag that I featured in my previous look of the day it's my coach hobo bag again I'm carrying this just because I want to have my hands free and I'm just feeling a little bit lazy <laughs> accessories I've got this watch here which is uh, by Michael Kors I really like it it's like a I don't know it's a very nice slinky watch and it's got like little gems around it which is pretty cool got my wedding rings on and then I've got this ring by Swarovski which was part of the Jean-Paul Gaultier line and I think they've got new stuff coming out at the moment which I'm really excited to check out but this is just one of my favorite like accent rings to wear and then for my earrings I've got new stuff uh, I went to this site called Body Art Forms or something and I got a bunch of like nice earrings uh, Industrial like great uh, earrings. So I really like that. I've got like two little rings here I've got like a stud here and then I've got the, kind of the same thing going on around here as well So really like rushing because my husband is rushing me because we've got reservations and we gotta go uh, But I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick look of the day makeup of the day video 
video if you have any questions leave it as a comment down below and i hope you guys have a great week weekend whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in my next one bye